Who's gonna win the game? Me! Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, Judah, can we agree that we're both on the same team, buddy? Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Welcome to another episode of Clay Cam. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well as watch the video all the way too. Not because I ask you to, but because you're gonna be entertained, enlightened, and informed. I'm gonna get that down eventually. We just have so many fun days. I mean, every day I have is fun. Not actually, not not really. But I mean, for the most part, I just try to make the best every day, right? I'm gonna be floating a little bit of sheetrock over here in this unit. We're finishing out and a handful of other things. Y'all come along. If you're new here, I'm Clay Nelson. I'm a general contractor from West Monroe, Louisiana, and I like to make videos. Plain and simple. Good morning, Dad. What? Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Down here for now, I wanted to go do something real quick. This is pretty cool. Normal sidewalk right here, right? No. Walk right over here. These little hooks right here, and those are made to lift up to stand up this whole entire sidewalk right here on this little footing. And what that does is create a seawall. Very cool. Yeah, the area you just saw is the downtown River Market in Monroe, and like all that downtown area is really cool to shoot. You, you can shoot cool things anywhere you go, and the thing is, is like visualizing the beauty, trying to figure out where the beauty is and things, and, and just normal items you can look at and try to figure out a way to. And what I always like to do is let items work together. Like if there's a plant or something, and there's something in the background that might just add a cool looking background, and, or just like let one thing or the other be uh, focused or blurred out. There's just so many cool things you can do with picture or video. It's just a fun passion to have. And once again, we're pretending like we have a pool this evening. like un the universe or humanity or something. So my friend Joe asked me, how do you have the same boot? The same boots that you've always had. And then dad this morning was like, hey, do your boots ever get tight in the front? So I was like, okay, it's a sign that I need to put a little bit of uh, mink oil in my boots. And the title of this video, I think, needs to be how to make your boots fit better. And the first answer is use them. The second answer is just put mink oil on them. Here's the thumbnail right here. No, maybe not. Maybe just right here. Okay, this is a really rare week. There's three games in a row. It's just because of all the heat and the coronavirus pushed us all back. So now we have a lot of baseball games or wee ball games lined up in a row. So. Oh, me cause my legs are really hot. Come here. All right. Whoa, where'd you pull it out of? I pull it out of my shirt. You pulled it out of your shirt? You're crazy, boy. Yeah. <laughs> River, I know your legs are hurting right now, but when you get out on that field, you're gonna have to run like the wind, okay? No? Okay, no problem. Anyway, hopefully it's gonna be a good vlog. 
Hey, you can't say that to people. You can't run up on people and say, hey boy, stop that. What a fun game, man. And I promise this is like the last day this week that we're gonna be seeing like Wee Ball on the end of my vlogs. So why do we do Wee Ball? Why do we do like kids and sports and all? And it's not because like we want our kids, or for me anyway, this is my personal opinion. I don't want my kids to necessarily be like a professional sports anything. I just always think about the times when I was a kid and how valuable the time that I was coached whenever I was playing basketball as a kid. I started in fifth grade, went all the way to 12th grade. But I can always think back at my coaches and during that time were always just the most valuable people to me and I learned the most from those people. And it wasn't necessarily about learning about the sport, it was learning about how to how to live and how to how to conduct yourself. I always think back to my junior year during high school when I was playing basketball, I wasn't getting the playing time that I that I felt like I should get. So I went to the coach, uh, Coach Havens, I said, Coach, I quit. I'm not playing like I want to, I'm, I'm not playing anymore. And he had the option to say, okay, we'll walk, fine. Or the other option was to persuade me to not quit. And it wasn't necessarily even persuading. He did it in a way that was like, okay, you're letting yourself down if you quit. It was like he made it personal to me. And he made me feel that he cared, of course, but it was like, if you quit, you're quitting on so much more than just a basketball game. I always hold that so special. That's why I want my kids to play sports. I don't I don't have to have them, you know, playing in the major leagues or playing in the NFL or whatever. But I mean the lessons you learn playing sports is so cool. That's been another episode of Play Cam. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow.